Hello everyone. Welcome to Chakra Chats with Paddy Kikos. Today I'm very excited about introducing you to Samantha Nolan-Smith. She's a business alignment coach to women the world over and I feel very blessed to have Sam as part of the Chakra Chat series, specifically because I think that she's got some incredible tips to share with us regarding the energy center that sets our foundation for everything in life. Not only does Sam embody the balanced archetype, she's also overcome quite a bit of adversity with her health. She now runs a very successful and thriving business and I'm constantly inspired by her soulful and very authentic approach to her life. Sam's mission is to empower women to transform the world through knowing their power as conscious, holy beings who can change their lives and change the world. She supports women as they revolutionize the world of business, celebrating their feminine qualities of collaboration while realizing more creative and financial freedom for themselves and their families. Sam is the founder of the Freedom Collective, an online community for entrepreneurs and creatives to do the inner work that's necessary to create a successful business. And she's also the founder of the Women in Freedom Immersion Program, a six-month business mastermind and spiritual deep dive, learning and applying her signature method, Business by the Chakras. God, you sound amazing, don't you? <laughs> you are amazing, but gosh, you sound impressive. <laughs> Thank you, Patty. <laughs> now, Sam, you and I met over a decade ago when we did one of our yoga teacher trainings together. And since then, we've crossed paths a couple of times professionally, haven't we? We have. It's been a lovely relationship that we've had, actually, that we kind of come in and, the, and out of each other's lives. But we, we're always... There's something about that subtle body anatomy that just brings <laughs> us together <laughs> on and off through the years. <laughs> yeah. I was part of when you were the artist formerly known as Dakini Grace, I was part of that journey, wasn't I, now that you're Samantha Nolan Smith? And I was also the very lucky celebrant that got to officiate your beautiful wedding. I would be I would feel very blessed to this day that you were able to play that role in that such an important part of my life. And also right back that you. Yeah, and also we've journeyed together in different ways through the chakras. So yes. it was it was a beautiful thing to have you as a partner in in one of my programs as yes. well. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. And I know that your professional journey started with your law career before you became a yoga teacher and a therapist, and before you started working, I guess consciously with the chakras. Can you tell us a little bit about your journey? Because I love hearing it. Mm, I'd love to. Yeah, so as you say, I started, I really went into the law and had, had had that idea since 12 years of age, even younger, maybe 9, 10 years of age, because somebody told me once that you could help people by and argue for them by becoming, you know, a solicitor or a barrister. And, and I thought that sounded fantastic. <laughs> and, <laughs> and always that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to help people. Aside from having a sort of a tiny moment there, where I veered off and thought I might become a missionary and then realised actually Oh, my what God, was really? About. Wow. Yeah. When I was in my teen years, I was quite... Uh, I was quite religious and I was quite committed to really changing the world in some way and, and had seen a couple of movies that I thought meant that would, I don't know, that just to bring that nourishment, I could, I saw these, I thought that being a missionary was about feeding the poor and yeah. <laughs> I'd forgotten about the religious dogma. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so, you know, that thread continued all the way through and so I went into uh, the law, but I went into corporate law, which isn't, wasn't the best fit for me, first of all, for a couple of reasons. It's a crazy environment of A-type personalities. I mean, crazy. And I was and possibly still am. I don't identify with it so much now, but, you know, very ambitious, very A-type personality, very people-pleasing as well through the achievement of, you know, through doing a really good job. Yep. So in terms of the environment, it it was just fueling all the things that were unhealthy for me. But also I didn't I wasn't passionate about the work. I wasn't passionate about the corporations I was working for, etc. So So you would have worked I mean, for different companies, right? 
Yeah, yeah. I, w- I was horrified with that. I was so naive. I thought that environmental law meant <laughs> when you worked for a large law firm meant saving the planet. And it turned out that I was to helping to defend the polluters. So I very quickly moved out of that and, and thought, well, how can I use my law qualifications? Because I was still quite passionate about the law. And I moved into public policy and I worked with Aboriginal people mm-hmm. for the next decade, really through through different government agencies, really supporting them to improve their well-being uh, mm-hmm. and their socioeconomic conditions. And again, beautiful work, amazing work. But of course, I kept taking with me this A-type personality. So I was working incredibly long hours. I was really passionate about what I was doing. And so when people would say, maybe you want to slow down a bit, I would just cover that over with, but I'm so passionate, I'm so passionate. What I wasn't realising, of course, is I had no idea how to stop. I just had no, yeah. no idea and no, no capacity to do it. 